sale of her life around the world yacht race. Tracy Polgrave is representing the territory in the 40,000 mile clipper race. She says she hopes the months spent training will prepare her for what's ahead. Tracy Polgrave is about to do something she never thought she could. The 42 year old Darwin nurse stumbled on a magazine advertisement for the world's longest ocean sail, the 40,000 mile clipper race. And that's when she knew she found her calling. On Tuesday, I head off to Rio to join my crew for a part of a around the world sailing race called Clipper. Um, there are 12 boats, they're 70 foot long, and I'm part of one of the boats that's kind of half Australian, half British. Tracy will set sail from Rio to Cape Town and from Cape Town to Albany in Western Australia. It'll take about eight weeks. A well-deserved rest will be due until around May next year when she'll compete in the final leg from New York to the UK. I'm not afraid of big oceans, but I don't like the cold. That's why I live in Darwin. <laughs> so I've spent the last year and a half researching what's the best kind of gear to get. The amateur sailors giving the past 18 months to be trained for the escapade. Tracy is our territory representative, but joining her will be 66 other Australians taking part in different legs of the race. Tracy is hoping to return with a fresh perspective on life. Confidence is one big thing that a lot of people say they get from doing this kind of thing. Yeah, so an increased level in confidence. Um, I love being on the ocean, so just a buzz from being out there. No doubt two months at sea will give you that buzz. Hannah Dawkins, no news. <laughs>